In a recent United Nations report, experts predict only 12 years remain to prevent unimaginable global devastation. Our natural responses of denial, anger, fear, despair, and anxiety are all understandable, but we must not let this lead us to inaction. Our faith as Unitarian Universalists compels us to create climate justice. We know how to channel our pain in the service of transformation, and we are not strangers to facing dire facts, difficult realities, and choosing a greater way. Our engagement in climate justice ministry as Unitarian Universalists must be centered in and guided by historically marginalized communities and those most impacted by global climate change, such as indigenous water protectors. Much of the new vision for a sustainable and equitable future is available now. Powerful community-based alternatives are here already organized by the very frontline and fenceline communities that suffer the impacts of climate change the most. Unitarian Universalism calls us to embrace humility and a commitment for the long haul and to unlearn both white supremacy and colonialist ways of thinking. And it's already happening in our association. I am so inspired by the climate justice ministry Unitarian Universalists are already engaged in through the Green Sanctuary Program and the Unitarian Universalist Ministry for Earth, UU congregations are already working to build a more impactful UU movement for climate justice. The work of Climate Justice Alliance guides our UU climate justice action through elevating the leadership and the demands of frontline communities. From Texas to California, from Michigan to Kentucky, these frontline communities are organizing for sustainable energy and economies that are based on the well-being of all. We are guided by indigenous nations around the world who are resisting the destruction of land, water, resources, and all living beings. And I'm inspired by so many of their actions and so many of the actions in our congregations, the construction of solar panels and the planting of sacred corn and the planned path of pipelines. Things are shifting. Things are rising. Unitarian Universalists have joined with thousands of organizations and local leaders across the country to say we are still in, even if our federal government is not. Our faith echoes and celebrates the bold and defiant leadership of youth activists, including you, you, youth, who are building a movement across the country. These are beautiful, joyful, and fierce movements that train young people to lead and equip neighborhoods to work together. All over the world, Unitarian Universalists can and are aligning themselves effectively and powerfully to these movements. There are so many ways to add the beauty and energy of your own congregation to this momentum. And I invite you to join me, the UUA, the UU Ministry for Earth, and our other UU congregations and communities in this prophetic and necessary ministry that we call Create Climate Justice.